We're here with WWE Champion John Cena. John, what's the biggest misconception about WWE superstars? Uh, I think that we are exactly who we are on television. You can come to an event like tonight and see everybody's toned down and everybody's kind of arm in arm and sending a positive message. We, uh, we have moments where we can get along if we need to uh, for a common good. Tonight's one of those nights. You spent roughly 300 days on the road. How do you deal with all that travel? I love the business. I love what I do. Uh, I love our fans. I love the brand. Uh, I've been on the road 300 days a year for the past 10 years. And I'm not saying that to beat my own drum. Uh, I can hope I can get 10 more years out of it. I, I truly love going to work every day. You've got a great rivalry going on right now with CM Punk. Yep. Why do you think CM Punk has become so popular among the fans, among the WWE universe? He is unique. Uh, he's a wonderful, talented performer in the ring. Uh, he says he's the best in the world and backs it up. There's a lot of guys who make that claim. If you watch our program, everybody will tell you they're the best. CM Punk is unbelievably talented. Not only that, uh, he has very little filter between his brain and his mouth. So a lot of his comments are very shocking to our audience. And I think that uh, garners a certain amount of respect and a certain amount of curiosity about what is CM Punk going to say next. Now, you've also had some battles with The Rock this year. Yep. Scheduled to throw down with him at April WrestleMania 1st. next yep, year. Yep, absolutely. What's it like working with The Rock? Uh, he is unreal. He is exactly what people say uh, he is, as well as himself. He is the most electrifying entertainer in all of entertainment. Uh, his presence, uh, you have to be around to see it. And that's why WrestleMania is going to be so big. You have the biggest current superstar in the WWE versus arguably the biggest superstar of all time in the WWE. Now, The Rock has jokingly called you Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Amazingly enough, uh, What's, he, what, go ahead. he actually got me on a Fruity Pebbles kick. I'm eating the cereal every day. I that's, can't get That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. What is John Cena's typical breakfast? Uh, fruity and Cocoa Pebbles. He's got me hooked on them. I love it. Now, how did you come up with your finishing move? Uh, it was really almost a jab at, a, at another competitor. Actually, uh, a UFC competitor by the name of Brock Lesnar. He had a certain maneuver, and I got into a little bit of tiff with him, and I kind of made my maneuver to mock his maneuver. And since then, it's been uh, extremely effective for me. Final question. You're from the Boston area. Yep. New England Patriots made all sorts of moves in the offseason. Finally, what, some sports. I was waiting for you to talk sports. What, were you, what are you expecting from the New England Patriots this uh, season? I, I've seen them perform extremely well uh, when everyone said they didn't have any sort of team to fall back on. Uh, now with all these weapons, I really just think it's – it's going to be about everybody being a team player. Uh, Belichick's system runs when everybody does what they're supposed to. And uh, I think if everybody can get on board, I know Ocho Cinco is a bit of a personality. Yeah, will Ocho Cinco and Belichick be able to get along? I know uh, Mr. Hainsworth has had some problems with, with coaches before. But then again, everybody said Randy Moss was going to be a problem. Everybody said Corey Dillon was going to be a problem. Uh, the Patriots have ways of making guys play, and I think that's producing Super Bowl rings. That makes guys uh, get along pretty good with each other. John, great to talk to you again, man. Thank you. Thank you.